subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Sumatran Orangutan. Hero, it's dinner time. Hi everyone, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Come on, Hero, it's time to eat. That's strange. I left your food right here at this spot. Now it's gone. Lead the way, Hero. Let's find your dinner. You found it. Great. How did it end up here? Hey, someone touched the food. What's that noise? <gasps> it's a monkey. And it's so red and hairy. I don't think you should eat Hero's food, Monkey. That food is for dogs. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Red Monkey. Hi, Katie. Did you find more about this ape? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is almost done. There it is. It's an orangutan. An orangutan? What a strange name. Orangutan means person of the forest. There are two types of orangutans, and the one you found is a Sumatran orangutan. It comes from the island of Sumatra in western Indonesia. The orangutan you found looks young. He must be looking for his mother. The female orangutans stay with their children for up to seven years. Let's find his mother. I'm sure she'll know what to feed him. Come and join us. Okay, Leo. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. What is it, Hero? Hmm, I recognize that sound. It must be a tiger. A tiger? Hide behind this tree, everybody. Quick. That is a Sumatran tiger. It is one of Sumatran orangutan's main predators. Hello, Junior Rangers. I've called to warn you that a tiger has been spotted around the area. Ranger Rocky, we just saw the tiger, and now we're hiding behind a tree. Just keep calm and do not make a sound. If the tiger spots you, do not run. Stand upright and make loud noises. You cannot outrun a tiger. But you can try to look taller. But we're not tall at all. Oh no! It's coming closer. We have nowhere to hide. I have an idea. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Katie, hold my hat. Leo, you did it. Thanks, Katie. Oh, that was close. Let's make sure we don't go in that direction. <coughs> we did it. We found his mother. Hooray! Yay! a young orangutan in our garden. We learned that young orangutans stay with their mothers until they are seven years old. So we went to the forest and brought him back to his mother. Good job, children. You did it. 
You are amazing wildlife rangers! The Eastern Spotted Skunk! Hi everybody! My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. I'm playing mini golf. I'm trying to hit the ball with this golf club to get the ball into that hole over there. Okay, here it goes. Come on, ball, go in. Oh, yes, it's in. Woohoo! Let's get the ball, Hero. What? Ah, what's this? You brought my golf ball back. Thanks. What animal is this? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is an eastern spotted skunk. It can spray a really smelly liquid at predators to scare them off. But the eastern spotted skunk will warn a predator before spraying. How does it warn a predator? First, the skunk stamps its front paws on the ground. If a predator doesn't leave, the skunk will do a handstand. Then it gets back on all four legs, arches its body, and sprays the smelly liquid. It will take about 10 days before the skunk can spray again. Then we better be careful with the skunk. Yes, we should, Leo. By the way, eastern spotted skunks live in North American prairies and woodlands. Hmm, we should take the skunk there and find it a good home, or it might get too smelly here. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Get it back for you, Leo. Thanks, Katie. <laughs> Katie, there's a coyote on your side. <gasps> nice coyote. Katie! Get away from my sister! At least it got away from Katie. The skunk! Maybe it can chase the coyote away. Work, Skunk. Here you go, Leo. Thanks, Katie. And you too, Skunk. Goodbye, Skunk. We did it! We found a home for the Eastern Spotted Skunk. Good work, everybody! Hooray! Yay! an eastern spotted skunk in our garden. We learned that skunks spray a very smelly liquid when they feel threatened. We also learned that farmers like to have them around because skunks help get rid of pests. So we found the eastern spotted skunk a new home at a small vegetable farm. Good job, children. You did it. 
You are amazing wildlife rangers. The bottlenose dolphin. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. <coughs> Look at all these fishes. That one over there is a goldfish. I'll try to catch it. <coughs> Don't worry, Hero. I'll put it back later. There, I got it. So this is a goldfish. It's a very popular fish to keep as a pet. Okay, Hero, I'll put the goldfish back in the water now. Here goes. Whoa! It's a baby dolphin. It just ate the goldfish. I wonder how the dolphin got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now look here, baby dolphin. Hi, Katie. What did you find? Hi, Leo. Almost there. This dolphin is a bottlenose dolphin. A bottlenose dolphin? Yes, a bottlenose. There are many types of dolphins, but the bottlenose dolphin is the best known. These dolphins can be found in warm and temperate seas worldwide. Dolphins have large brains, and they are very intelligent. I see. By the way, this baby dolphin ate a goldfish from our pond. Hmm. Normally, dolphins eat small fish and other small sea creatures. But this dolphin is still very young, so it might still need milk from its mother. Dolphins stay with their mothers for several years. Hmm. I guess it must be hungry then. We should bring it home, back to its mother. Come and join us. That's great, Leo. See you downstairs. We may be able to find the dolphin's mother here. <laughs> you must be excited to see the ocean again. Oh, look! A boat! <laughs> look! I think Baby Dolphin wants to play with the waves created by the boat. Correct! That's because bottlenose dolphins like to surf and ride on waves produced by boats or big animals. Be careful, Junior Rangers. There might be fishing boats that come out to sea to hunt for dolphins. Oh no! It looks like the boat is really going after the dolphin. The baby dolphin isn't fast enough to escape. We need to save her. <laughs> Watch out! The fishing boat has a weapon. They're aiming at you, dolphin. Whoops! Careful, Dolphin! You almost got hit! Ranger Rocky! That was close! Children, hurry and escape with the Dolphin while I confront the fishing boat! Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Let's hurry and find the Dolphin's mother where it can be safe! found the baby dolphin's mother. Hooray! Yay! found a baby dolphin in our pond today. We learned that the dolphin is a bottlenose dolphin. So we went to the sea and found its mother so it can be safe again. 
Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan Pangolin. Hiya! Take that! And that! Ha-ha! My loyal hound hero is here. Oh, hi everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And now, I'm also a knight. Hero, I need your help defeating this imaginary monster. <coughs> here! Take that! And that! And that! Ah! He's getting away! After it! Whoa! Watch your step, Hero. What's that? Be on guard, Hero. It could be a dragon. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. So, is it a dragon I found? Hey, Leo. <laughs> no, you didn't find a dragon. You found a young pangolin. A pangolin? Yes, there are different types of pangolins. But this one is a Malayan pangolin. But it looks just like a dragon. It even has armor, just like the one I'm wearing. Just like your armor, the scales on the pangolin protect it from danger. Pangolins are very shy creatures, so when they're frightened, they curl into a ball and hide. I must have frightened it when I took pictures of it. So, where do pangolins usually live? Pangolins live in Asia and Africa. The one you found comes from Southeast Asia. Adult pangolins like to live alone. But mother pangolins will stay and protect their children until they know how to protect themselves. Then our young pangolin must be lost. We must bring him back home to his mother. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. It looks like we're in the jungle. Let's see what we can find. Here's a hollow in a tree. And on this side is a large cave next to a few trees. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a hollow in a tree. And over there is a cave next to a few trees. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to head towards the hollow because Malayan pangolins live in trees. Let's go. <gasps> What's that? The pangolin is protecting itself by curling into a ball and rolling away. Quickly, let's follow it. Oh no, a log is in our way. Uh, it won't move. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Come, Junior Rangers, let's go. Not you, Tiger! We did it! The pangolin found his mom! Yay! Hooray! Today, we found a young Malayan pangolin in our garden. 
We learned that pangolins live underground and in hollows in trees. So we went to the jungle and brought the young pangolin safely home. Good job, children! You did it! You are amazing wildlife rangers! The pygmy hippo. Hi, everybody! My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. What's the matter, Hero? Is it hot for you? <coughs> hmm, it is quite warm today. Why don't you have a swim in the pond? <laughs> That's much better, right, Hero? Whoa! Hey, is that a hippo? But I thought hippos were bigger. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little hippo. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the animal. Here we go. This animal is a pygmy hippo. A pygmy hippo? Yes, a pygmy hippopotamus. It's the smaller cousin of the common hippo. So that's why it doesn't look so big. Correct. The pygmy hippo is twice as small as the common hippo. The pygmy hippo you found is a young female, so she will still grow only a little bit. Where does the pygmy hippo come from? You can find pygmy hippos in the forests and swamps of West Africa. As you have noticed, they like to spend most of their time in the water to cool down. When they leave the water, they'll look for food. Pygmy hippos are herbivores. They eat plants and fruits. I think the pond in our garden is too small for a pygmy hippo. We should bring her back to her home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. We must be getting closer to the swamp. The ground is very muddy. Let's not walk too fast, so we won't slip. What is it, Hero? You don't have to walk that slow. Come on, guys, let's go. Leo, the pygmy hippo is slowly sinking. She is stuck in quicksand. Don't get too close, otherwise you'll also get stuck in the quicksand. When trapped in quicksand, it's best to keep calm and stop struggling. Oh no! Keep calm? What can we do to keep her calm? Good idea, Hero. Maybe some leaves to eat will distract her. Here, Hippo. Please. Please try to be calm. It's not working. We need to pull her out. But how can we do that? Do you think we can pull the pygmy hippo out with the jeep? Yes, it might work if we use the jeep. We'll also need this rope. Good thinking, Leo. The jeep is here. Okay, pygmy hippo. It's very important that you grab this rope. Catch! Good job, hippo. Now hold on tight. Katie, I think she understands what we're trying to do. It's your turn. Now, very slowly. It's working. The pygmy hippo is out. Hooray! Yay! We did it. We found an empty spot in the swamp for the pygmy hippo. Hooray! Yay!
We found a pygmy hippo in our garden. We learned that a pygmy hippo lives on both land and in the water. So we went to the forest and found her an empty spot in the swamp. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Clouded Leopard. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. <laughs> oh, this? This is a windsock for our garden. We can use it to see the speed and direction of the wind. See? Now I just need to find a good place to hang it. Why don't we look for it together? Let's go. I see a good spot up ahead. Let's try to hang it there. Huh? Hey, that's my windsock. I think it's some kind of cat. And look at those spots on its fur. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little cat. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything about the cat? Hi, Leo. It seems that the cat you found is a clouded leopard. It's a cub, which means that it's still a baby. A clouded leopard cub? The clouded leopard gets its name from the special cloud-like spots on its fur. These spots serve as camouflage so they can hide in the trees. I see. We saw it can climb trees very well. Clouded leopards are arboreal animals, which means they mostly live in trees. That's why they have large paws and sharp claws that help them climb. I see. Their flexible short legs and long tail help them balance in the trees. Clouded leopards are one of the best tree climbers of all the big cats. That's amazing. What kind of food do they eat? Clouded leopards are carnivores. This means they eat other animals like birds, deer, and pigs. Clouded leopards live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. I think we should return the cub to its mother, since it still needs to learn how to hunt. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. It looks like we have to cross the river to get to those trees. Look at those water lilies. They are so big. The jeep won't go any further. They are blocking the way. is going after that butterfly. We have to catch up before it gets lost. But how can we move forward? Look, Leo. Up by those trees. The cub. We have to save it. But we can't get there. This should work. Let's go. Great idea, Katie. Let's save the cub. Leo, the vines are breaking. The cup will fall into the water. I know what to do. I'll take this. Great, Leo. Just in time. We did it! We found the clouded leopard's mother. Great work, everyone. 
Yay! found a clouded leopard cub in our garden. We learned that the clouded leopard is an endangered species and that it spends most of its time in trees. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The reindeer. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Look what I found, Hero. It's our frisbee. Do you want to play? Catch! Good job, Hero. One more time. Catch! Oh, hello. You can run really fast. Where do you come from? It looks like a deer. I wonder how it ended up in our garden. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Say cheese. Hi, Katie. What did you find out? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a young reindeer. And because it's young, it's a reindeer calf. A reindeer? Aren't reindeer the animals that pull Santa Claus's sleigh? Yes, the very same. Reindeer are found in Northern Europe, North America, Greenland, and Asia. They live in the mountains, woodlands, or the tundra. The tundra? The tundra is a large and mostly flat land. It's a very cold place that is often covered in snow. Almost no trees grow in the tundra. To find food like grass and small plants, Reindeer will travel long distances to colder regions during summer and travel to warmer regions during winter. This traveling is called migration. Reindeer can travel up to 5,000 kilometers a year. It helps that reindeer can run very fast. A baby reindeer can start running within 90 minutes of its birth. However, sick reindeer, older reindeer, and calves are often easy targets for predators like eagles, wolves, and lions. This is because they are not as fast as a healthy young adult reindeer. Mother reindeer usually travel closely with their young when they migrate. This reindeer calf must have been separated from its mother. We should take it back. Come and join us. Good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. That's strange. The hoof prints stop here. Where did the reindeer herd go? Oh no! The reindeer has jumped into the water. Don't worry, Leo. Reindeer can swim very well. They often swim during migration. I see. So the reindeer herd swam to cross the river. Let's follow it. Hmm, the reindeer has slowed down. What happened? It says here that reindeer calves may not have enough strength to swim across a river as wide as this one. Ah. Oh no, what ah. can we ah. do? I know. Let's use this rope to pull the reindeer in. Here goes. Oh no, the water is moving too strong here. You got it, hero. Well done. Phew, that was 
close. You saved its life, ah. hero. <laughs> Look! Ah. That reindeer must be the calf's ah. mother. The ah. bond between a mother reindeer and her calf is so strong that they can recognize each other by smell. Ah. We did it! We found the reindeer's herd and mother. Good job, everyone! Hooray! Yay! We found a young reindeer in our garden. We learned that reindeer can run very fast and that they migrate to colder regions during the summer. So we followed the reindeer's herd and brought the reindeer back to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.